Now, the WGAL News 8 Storm Team Forecast with meteorologist TJ Springer. Hey, at least Mother Nature isn't throwing a wrench in anyone's evening commute out there. It feels wonderful. Maybe a good night to throw the top down if you have a convertible. It's beautiful outside. We're still seeing a nice amount of sunshine. It feels comfy thanks to that wind that we had last night coming in from the north to northeast. Still seeing blue sky in Lebanon. A few clouds out there. And we're going to continue to see those thickening up through the remainder of the day into tonight as our next storm system looms off to the west. We can see that on the Storm Team Live Radar Network, a nice amount of moisture. A warm front is going to slide its way on in tomorrow, and that's going to be the driving force along with that more humid, warmer, unstable air mass that could spark up or aid in sparking up some stronger storms. Right now, dew points still in the 50s. It feels comfortable, refreshing. It was a gorgeous morning out there earlier on. If you got out, hopefully you enjoyed it. Bottle it up because we are expecting those changes to take shape tomorrow into our Sunday. Temperature wise, we're actually below normal for this time of the year. 83 for those of you in Carlisle, lower 80s as well from York to Lancaster. It is 88. That's the warm spot that we have on the map in Gettysburg, but most of us going to fall right back to around 80 through the remainder of the evening under mostly sunny conditions. It'll be comfy as we've been hitting on. Hold on to it because it's going to feel noticeably more humid tonight than what we woke up to this morning with temperatures bottoming out around a 70 Then tomorrow much warmer above average closer to 90 degrees and with that heat and humidity, both the instability will be higher and that could fuel the potential for some severe storms. That's why it's an impact day and why the Storm Prediction Center has painted this slight risk for most of the Susquehanna Valley now. A two out of five on the scale that means scattered severe storms are a possibility. There's a marginal risk off to the east for lesser chances, so to speak, of stronger to severe storms or less coverage of uh, severe storms. But that's why it's an impact day for us and really an impact weekend, a kickoff to it because Sunday will also feature the potential for strong storms. I think the time frame is going to be really later in the day during the evening on Saturday and all forms of severe weather are possible, including a tornado or two. Can't completely rule that out with the organizational wind in the atmosphere. But I think the main concerns with the higher hazards are going to be the heavy rain and a gusty wind, but there could be some large hail and the strongest of course. And again, that tornadic threat not zero. Now we flip forward to Sunday and notice that slight risk gets pushed a little farther to the east as that cold front sweeps through the Susquehanna Valley. It's kind of conditional, but I think we're going to have instability building during the afternoon and evening ahead of that front. So still the same story. We had that organizational wind, have the instability, and that could fuel the potential for more severe storms with all forms again on the table. Here's predictor. We're Quiet through the remainder of the evening. Good through dinner time if you have any plans to dine on maybe the back deck or patio. Notice through the overnight though, starting to see some clouds thickening as the storm system works to the east. We're dry, I think, to start off our day, but notice past lunchtime into the late afternoon and evening, we're starting to see storms firing up. And eventually, we likely see a complex moving in, and that's going to bring the potential for all those hazards. The gusty wind for sure and the downpours. We need the rain, but of course, it's coming with that potential for severe weather. So we'll be watching closely in the weather center tomorrow and Sunday on the Newsday Storm Team 10 day. A refreshing feel returns though after the cold front gets through Monday and Tuesday. Look wonderful in the low to mid 80s. Great if you have any travel plans, but notice a heat wave unfolds yet again, and that's going to come with the potential for more storms. And sadly, we may have to dodge some closer to Independence Day. So that's something we'll be watching too the closer we get to the holiday. All right, TJ, thank you. Mm -hmm. And still to come, uh